Hey there, Travis here, episode 23 of The Stripe Show. Look where we're at here. Victoria National, one of the top ranked golf courses in the country, southern Indiana. Big Stripe Show coming ahead. Let's go. Hello everybody, welcome to The Stripe Show. I'm your host, Travis Fulton. That's right, episode 23, and we're coming to you from one of my favorite places in the country, Victoria National. Check this out, Tom, go down the fairway here. Look at this. This is the 14th hole here at Victoria National, the most difficult hole every single year on the web.com tour. The United Leasing Championship is here every single year and this is the most difficult hole. In fact, it just begins the most difficult stretch every year on the web.com tour. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, championship golf. Tough test, but you know what? We're gonna conquer it today. That's right, we're gonna conquer it today on the Stripe Show. We got an action-packed show. Got show us your swing, but we've got all kinds of cool shots from one of the most beautiful golf courses in the country, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this show. So let's get to it here. All right, you ready, Jaron? Here we go now. We're gonna start with the 14th, this tee shot. And I can tell you right now, if you don't hit a good tee shot here, you're making bogey. Because it's long, it's narrow, and you gotta get in the fairway. The rough here is very penalizing, much like we saw at the PGA Championship here. Now, when you get to these types of holes, it can be intimidating. I like to have good sight lines, okay? So the tip we're starting here with on the Stripe Show is to have your sight lines. It's easy to get on these kinds of holes and just feel like I'm just, everything's moving so fast, right? I feel like I'm over here, I feel like I'm over there. And we just get up and we hit it and we don't put our best foot forward. Gotta have sight lines. For, so for me, what is my sight line? Well, I'm gonna have two lines. The first is where I'm gonna aim my driver face, okay? And I'm gonna aim it up the right center here. Hard for you to see there, but there's a tree in the distance that I can see. That's where I wanna aim the face. I'm zoned in on that. From there, I'm gonna take my body line and I'm gonna feel like my body is gonna be left of that and pretty much up the left center of the fairway. I have to feel a little open. That's what I've discovered. I gotta feel like I'm more open to be square, my tendency is to close down. So I've got my sight lines, and my sight lines I'm gonna hold on to, I'm gonna trust those, and then I'm gonna get up there and I'm gonna make an aggressive swing, the first of many here today on the Stripe Show, to conquer the most difficult hole on the web.com tour. Got my sight line, deep breath. I'm gonna aim that face right at it, get my body going a little bit up the left side, and let's go for a ride. There it is. Just a little baby cut. It's gonna catch a little piece of that fairway. And there it is. I'm not gonna show you exactly where that ended up because it actually got into that first cup of the rough. But we're gonna to get to that here in a second. But before we get up there, let's go to our first show is your swing. This is John. Hey John, Travis, I recognize that driver, the winner there a few months back. Good stuff. Hey, first thing, that grip looks uh, looks like it has a little bit of an opportunity to get better. I'm going to show you a couple things to check in the grip first, and that'll be after this analysis here. I'll show you a couple things. And then from there, as we go to the top, how about we try to lengthen out just a little bit. I'm going to show you something here at the top where we're going to get your hands kind of say up here by your right shoulder. And then I'm going to show you some wrist angles that I want you to try to do at the top. We're going to try to get the grip really good and then get the wrist angles good at the top. And the wrist angles will be kind of a flat left wrist, bent right wrist, where the shaft will feel like it's kind of laying down more behind you. I think the shaft gets a little bit kind of vertical here. And then in transition, it wants to steepen a little more. See that there? You can see that club wants to kind of get a little bit more this way. And what we want to feel is that shaft is going to be a little bit more this way. It's going to be a little bit more in a laid off kind of feel. 
So once we get the grip right and we get those wrist angles right, I think it'll improve your probability of squaring up the face at impact as you turn through, which you do a good job of. You can see your weight goes left and then you turn through. So lots of good things are coming through. I think we just got to get the grip and the wrist angles really, really good. And then I'd love to kind of have you work on that and see if we can get you hitting this new Callaway Rogue driver long and straight. Here it comes, buddy. All right, John, good stuff. Hey, I love that driver. I think you won that, right? From one of the, uh, from one of the drawings on Travis Fulton Instagram. Congratulations. Now, a couple things to help you with that. The first is the grip, all right? When you grip it with your lead hand, and in here, Tom, show them this here. Make sure this thumb, a little right of center, okay? And then make that thumb short, okay? Nice and compact, just like that. So it's in the fingers, thumbs to the right, short thumb, so there's no gap in there. Right hand, watch this here. Stay with me, Tom. This is gonna come in here, and I'm gonna make that thumb fit right in that lifeline, and then cover it up, just like that. Okay, that's what I want you to do with the grip. Now, from there, go ahead and pan out. We're gonna go to the target line. So I've got a good grip. From there, we're gonna get some wrist angles. So when we go back, what I want you to do, I want you to turn, try to get your hands kind of up to your shoulder here with the lead arm back here, okay? Get some depth and then some height above your shoulder, if you can, all right? Shoulder turn, hip turn, left arm works around, hands just above the right shoulder here, okay? Now, when you hinge your wrist, your right wrist bent, left wrist, Flat. Let's go back to you, Tom, real quick. Come in here. Let's show them this here. Right wrist bent, left wrist flat. You can just do that right here. Boom. Just like that. We want those wrist angles up here. Okay? So we got a good grip. We got good wrist angles. I think you're ready to hit good shots with this driver. Here we go. Take your time with the grip. Left hand first, then right hand. Kind of get that destination up here. Left arm works around, hands are up above the shoulder, right wrist bent, left wrist flat. And then just give me that nice same finish. Justin, this is my mulligan here on 14. I'll allow it. Oh yeah, that's better. That's the one we want right there. Down the middle, if I could just get a mulligan on every single shot, John, that's what we're gonna do to hit our driver better. So work on that, okay, with that new driver. And then a couple weeks, send me a video and let's see how it looks. All right, we gotta go find these drives here on 14. Gonna hit our second shot. Got some great stuff coming. The next segment here, we're going to 14 strong early this week because I wanna show you how to hit it out of this nasty rough. Let's go, come on. All right, here we are. I got my drive here on 14, right in the middle of the fairway, setting up my second shot. Like I said, you have to hit the fairway. What, what are you doing? I'm gonna hit my shot here, my second shot on 14. No, 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 you gotta hit your first shot, which is in the rough. You gotta play where it lies. Oh, that's man. right, that's right. My first shot was in the rough, so let's just leave this one here. Let's go over here and let's play from my first shot because the producer Justin said so, which is right over here in this nasty Victoria National Rough. And I know you're probably playing golf courses that are difficult with this rough as well. So look at this, I've got 193 here, uphill. Probably gotta play this about 205, which is a five iron for me. But with this lie, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that five iron. This week, 14 strong is all about the nasty rough here. And I wanna start this week 14 strong right here in the fairway. All right, let's get into this. 14 strong, we take one club or one shot situation, right? Every single week and we break it down. I got two scenarios for you here this week from Victoria National the long rough. I'm in the fairway here first, then we're gonna move up to the green here on 14. We get into these situations, sometimes you gotta take your medicine, right? Get the ball back out and play to that number that you like, right? And for me, that's right around that 100 yard mark. So I've got a pretty nasty lie here. Gosh, I would love to hit my five iron and try to get it up there, but it's not worth the risk. Play conservative, I'm taking my sand wedge here, and I'm gonna hit a little three quarter pitch right back out in place. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna grip down slightly. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna lean the shaft forward. I gotta get the shaft forward here, right? That's gonna help that leading edge. So I'm gonna get aggressive with the shaft lean. I'm gonna play the ball maybe just slightly back of center. And then once again, I'm gonna get this top button 
and my belt buckle, and I'm gonna lean it left, okay? Not just the belt buckle, not just the top button, but everything, really important. So I feel like I'm kind of stacked here on my left side, and then from there, I'm gonna hinge it up, and as I hinge it up, I see a lot of you, when you start getting this kind of steeper angle, which is needed here out of the rough, you don't get the depth in the left arm. You still gotta turn, okay? So let the left arm, start to work around. So it's kind of up, early wrist hinge with a turn, but back to Tom here face on, I'm staying left. Okay, I'm not moving over here. And that's gonna really set the stage now for the club to come down on kind of that V-shape angle of attack. And I'm gonna turn with it, and I'm gonna punch the ball down here, back out and play. Yep, there it is. And you can see how I kind of had a little three-quarter finish. Not a sexy shot, right? But it's an important shot. It should be the shot you hit from here, because I have a good lie now from 100 yards to get it up onto that green. Maybe save par, at the very worst, make bogey. All right, let's go to the second shot here. It's part of 14 strong. Up onto the green, out of this nasty rough. Let's go. All right, here we are, green side. 14th hole, really difficult around this green, in that nasty rough again, and really almost an impossible shot. As you can see here, Jaron, from your camera here, you can see I gotta kinda throw up real high to the front and then just let it run down. So I've gotta really hit kind of a mini type of explosion shot. Of course, I've got my 60 here, and I'm gonna get in there, and I'm gonna get that face pretty open here. Right? You can open it up. You can even grip the club a little bit weaker if you want to. You can move your hands to the left a little bit on the grip, you know, versus say over here. And that'll help you rotate that face open as well. So a little weaker grip can help kind of throw the ball up in the air and deaden it from time to time. Now, from there, I gotta get down in there, like a, like a little bit of a bunker shot. Gotta get down in there, kinda get into the lead side. And notice my left knee here as I go through this shot. I'm gonna really try to keep the left knee solid. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this club in and I'm gonna keep this left knee solid and really kind of turn around it like this. Okay, in the golf swing, of course I'm pushing up, right? I'm getting that full extension. I'm gonna use that left knee here as a bit of an anchor, okay, and turn through it. Now, also notice, pretty big backswing, but I'm gonna try to kind of leave the energy down here, right? And that shot before, kind of long and lazy, really threw it up in the air, down soft. This one, get some arm swing, get some hinge, but then I'm gonna try to leave it down and just kind of pop it up using the loft of the face here. So here we go, let's get down in there. 60 degree, you can weaken the grip a little if you want. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna use that left knee as that anchor. And then just kind of leave that club head down in there. Kind of like that, see there? Just popped it up, got it on the green. You can see I during that ball just running out. And that's a reasonably good shot from here, you know, 15, 18 feet back up the hill. I would have to just land that right on the top of that knob probably to get that inside eight feet. So face on, really work on that setup, work on that knee, and then just work on leaving it there on this particular shot, pops it up, down soft, cool shot around the green. Let's keep going. This is 14, let's kick it over to 15. All right, so that was 14. I'm gonna give myself a bogey there. Cool with that? That was a plus one. Plus one, bogey? All right, I made bogey, I'm one over. Gotta pick it up. I can get it here though, because 15, par five, beautiful hole, we'll show it to you. Dog leg, right, I'm gonna hit a little fade here. Now, when you hit a fade, my sight line, what I'm gonna do here, I like to aim the face just left center of the fairway, and then my body is gonna feel like it's almost over here to the rough, pretty open, right? I'm gonna really open up to the left so I get my path swinging to the left. Now, that's key. I'm gonna swing to the left. You see a lot of players doing this, right? They'll get in here and they'll go like this, right? They're trying to get that club to exit over here. So that's really key in hitting the path. Now, what I'm not gonna do is come into impact and try to hang on to the face. I'm not gonna hang on here where the face is looking way to the right, because the ball's gonna start too far to the right. Believe it or not, that club face is still turning down. That club face is still turning down, 
and aiming, looking down left center of that fairway, but it fades because my path and my swing is going to be more over here to the left. It's going to be left of that face and it's going to cause it to move a little bit left to right. You probably notice it's pretty hot right now. We just had a really nice storm come through. It's about 90, it's humid, so just kind of bear with us here a little bit. I hope I can hold on to this club, Justin. I'm going to aim left center, get my body going way over here to the left, and then I'm going to really try to swing to the left and just let the club face be there. I'm not going to hang on to the club face. So there it is. It starts left. Get over there to the right. I think it might have. Good tee shot. 15th. I can't wait to show you this hole. Come on. All right, here we are. Got a good bounce off the left side, right here in the left center of the fairway. Yeah, I like this. Check this out, Jaron. Frame this up here. The 15th here at Victoria National. Absolutely beautiful. It's a great risk reward par five. I've got about 235 here down the hill. Probably going to play, I'd say around 225 carry all the way to the front of that green. And the hole's probably going to play about 235. So should I go for it or should I lay up to my favorite number? And my favorite number is 100 yards, right? And you get in these situations, right? Should I go for it or should I lay up? And the thing here at Victoria is all of this risk reward stuff, right? There's a lot of penalty if you don't make it. And this is probably one of the most penalizing golf courses that you'll play. Now, some golf courses, you know, the penalty might not be as much. There's a lot of water up there, right? It could be just long rough, could be a bunker, right? So it might be not as much risk, but here, high risk, right? So I would lay up to my favorite number, which is about 100 yards. What's your favorite number? When you lay up, just don't grab a club and aimlessly lay up. Have a favorite number, maybe have two. For me, it's 100 and 120. I know exactly where those are and I can carry it that distance. So I'm gonna aim it and I'm gonna down the middle here and try to play it to about 100. You, you cool with that, Justin, or should I go for it? Uh, I'd go for it, man. Okay, so Justin wants me to go for it. All right, I hope you were saying that. So I'm gonna throw that wedge to the side and I'm gonna take my hybrid and I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna go to the right side of that green and I'm gonna make a nice aggressive swing here with my hybrid going for it. Right side of the green. My setup. I'm all in. Aggressive swing. Oh yeah, I hit that good. I hit that good. Get up just a little bit. That should be on the front right portion. I like that, Justin. Good call. Hey, producer, caddy, I like this. Went for it, but what if we were to lay up? Well, before we get to the layup shot, let's get to our next show us your swing. Check it out. And hey, Travis here. Uh, lots of good stuff in your swing here. The first thing I'm going to have you do uh, with your iron here is get you set up just a little bit more behind it. We talk about the side tilt and the spine to the right with the driver a lot. And we want to see that with an iron too. So we're going to get you tilted slightly with the spine this way. And then I'm going to have your pelvis kind of move just slightly to the left. Now with that, we're going to get your feet a little bit wider. And that's going to be important because when we turn, you can see how your hips are kind of over here a little bit. And then your spine looks like it wants to lean a little bit more towards the target. And a lot of that is generated from the setup position. So you can imagine if we tilt the spine to the right, move your hips slightly to the left, when you turn, I think what you'll feel is your spine's a little bit more over here, your hips are a little bit more over here, and that'll create an environment where when you come down, it'll be easier for you to stay behind it. Because you can see here as you come to impact, your head wants to kind of jump back behind it in order to help square the club face up. So I feel like if I can just get you set up better and get you turn on a little better angle going back, it'll be easier for you to stay behind it and the club face and the club shaft will want to do good things through the strike. Nice balance finish, lots of good things. I think the setup here is the place to start. I want to show you that and then a little bit on how I want you to turn in your backswing. Thanks so much for the video. I think I can help you out and a lot of it 
is in the setup position. Tom, go ahead and wheel around here to face on. I want to show you something here. I've got my iron here. I'm still on 15. We're going to lay this one up to my favorite number, which is 100 yards. Now, when you get in there, I want you to get your feet wider. Okay, go ahead and spread your feet apart a little bit. And then, like I said in the video, tilt the spine gently right. And which way did my hips go? They went just a little to the left, right? I think right now you're a little this way. Okay, so my spine looks a little left, my hips kind of kick over to the right. So when you turn, that's kind of the way you look, right? That's the axis that you're turning on. So when you tilt right and your hips go a little left, now when you turn, you're gonna be more this way. I'm exaggerating, okay? That was an exaggeration. Spine right, hips left. Not spine left, hips right. The spine hip thing, it's all relative. Some need to feel one side, and then another portion of golfers need to feel the other side. For you, it needs to start at a dress, spine right, hips left, and then feel like you kind of stay there. Spine still feels a little right. Hips still feel a little left and that's gonna make it a lot easier for you to return with your head behind the ball and then to that finished position which you've already got, all right? So work on that setup, work on that backswing, and I think your iron game is gonna improve. Let's see if we can get this one down to that 100 yard mark. Yeah, there it is. I hit that one good. Should be right at about 100, I like that. Now. You want to send a video? Send it to me at the Stripe Show at 18birdies.com and I'm going to help you out. In fact, watch this video. Hey there, Travis Fulton here with the Stripe Show. You want to get involved? What's on your mind? Send me a question, tweet it to at 18birdies app or email it to the Stripe Show at 18birdies.com. But perhaps you really need some help. I want you to send me a video. And in that video, I want you to tell me what the tendencies are with your ball flight so I can help you. Film your swing from face on, where you're looking at me just like this, or the target line. One of these two angles is what I need to see to give you some good feedback. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make you a deal. I'm gonna show you my swing Now, I want you to show us your swing. All right, here we are. I've got my third shot coming up here. 15th hole, right, par five. Now, you remember when I went for it on that other shot? It made it. It's up there just on the right side of the green. We're getting to that one. But I want to hit this shot, and I want to go back to the last week, right, where I was saying on these approach wedges, a good tip that really helped me was taking my hands from my right shoulder turn left, mirror image on the left shoulder, three-quarter framework, hands feel the same on both sides, really encouraging rotation. Let's give it a shot. Should I aim at Tom or the flag? That is a tough one. It is a tough one. Let's go at the flag. Here we go. Mirror image, nice controlled wedge. Oh yeah, there it is. One hop. Little check in there, about 15 feet. Let's go make that. Travis here, good stuff, man. I've got a couple things here for you. A lot of good things in your swing. The first thing here, as you go back, is I'm gonna get you to turn and load up a little bit more into the right side. I want you to try to unweight this lead foot as you turn to the top. All right, it looks like as you go to the top, you might be kind of hanging left a little bit. Uh, with the weight. So what I'm going to encourage is I'm going to encourage a little bit more uh, of the left knee kind of coming across, a little more of the belt buckle tracing over to the right heel. And I'll show you how to do that, to kind of unweight that lead foot a bit and get you loaded up just a touch better uh, to the top of the swing. Now, from there, as you come down, you mentioned the club face maybe getting a little closed from time to time. And I think that's because your lower body outraces it. So when you come down, Watch your right knee, it really kicks in quick, right? So your lower body is kind of out racing your arm swing, and then you have to flip it a bit uh, to try to square it up, lose some shaft lean, and that'll get the face looking left. So we're gonna load up a little bit, and then from there, I'm gonna stabilize that right knee. Okay, I'm gonna show you a good drill on how to stabilize this right knee a little bit in transition, 
and that'll get the lower body in position where the arms can catch up and it'll allow you to square the face more often, okay? So I'll show you how to unweight the lead foot and then a good drill coming down, stabilizing that right knee, and I think you'll be good to go. Here it comes. All right, rolling right along here. Joseph, thanks so much for your video. I'm gonna get to it here in a second. We're here, 16th hole, beautiful par three here at Victoria National. Rolling right along. I like your swing, Joseph, and I think I can help it with a couple things. I talked about unweighting the lead foot. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna get in here with my iron, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my belt buckle kind of trace a little bit towards my right heel, just a little trace, and then my left knee is gonna point back behind the ball. Okay, now do that with me, just kind of a little trace, point the left knee behind the ball. Let the left heel come up a little bit like that. Okay, when my left heel comes up, now I've unweighted that lead foot, I'm over here. Right, I feel like you're kind of hanging over here just a little bit. All right, so that's the first thing. Work on that belt buckle, work on that left knee, let that left heel come up a little bit, and you'll feel like you kind of unweighted it. Now, from there, I want you to stabilize that right knee. I think it'll be a little easier to do after you unweight that lead foot. Watch my right knee. Okay, my right knee, nice and stable. It's almost like I'm gonna hold my knee right there as I start down. Okay, now, of course, for you, what you were doing is you were kind of kicking it in, right? And your arm swing is trailing behind. Take a den caddy, put it just inside your knee, okay? Right there, den caddy, just inside your knee, and then work on the weight falling left, and then turning, but the knee stabilizing. See how I did that? Okay, and that'll allow your arm swing to come back down, match up, and then from there, everything will be more synchronized. So I like that, unweight the lead foot, work on stabilizing that right knee, and I think things will get synchronized a little bit better for you and improve your swing. Here we go, beautiful 16th hole, club face first, and my body, gotta make a good swing here. And I did, Tom, you better be catching that. You better be catching that, yes! Right in the middle of the green. I bogeyed 14, birdied 15. I'm gonna two putt that, par 16. We've got two more difficult holes to go. And as we get to 17 here, I want you to check out this new 18 Birdies app feature. It's the updated GPS, check it out. Hey guys, Randy from 18 Birdies here, and I wanna show you how to use the GPS in the app. From the scoring page, you'll see your distance to the hole in the top portion of the screen. To interact with the GPS, just tap on the screen. From there, you can drag the target to find your distances, or you can tap anywhere on the screen like this to have your target move there instantly. Dropping the target on the flag will show you distances to the front, middle, and back of the green as well. With a premium membership, you'll also be able to see elevation and weather data, plus get access to our blind shot compass, allowing you to see where the hole is, even if your view is obstructed. All right, just in time, the updated GPS feature here in the 18 Birdies app. My tournament this week here at Victoria National, the second annual Stripe Show Co-Jam, hosted by me. I've got teachers coming in from all over the country, bringing their students. It's a lot of fun. Be sure to be following me there on Instagram, at Travis Fulton Golf, I'll be posting some really good stuff. We'll be using the GPS, and the other cool thing about 18 Birdies is the live leaderboard. We're going live on the phone so the teams know exactly where they're at at all times. So I just love the app. So many great features, GPS, live leaderboard. Be sure to check that out. All right, we got one more. Show us your swing. I want you to check this out, and then we're gonna come right back here to number 17, one of the hardest holes on the web.com tour. I'm even par, but watch this swing first. Hey Cameron, Travis here. Thanks for the video. Um, I understand you're uh, missing it left quite a bit. And I would look at the grip first, Kind of hard here uh, to see from this wide out, but I did zoom in on it a little bit, and you can see that both of your uh, your V's on your hands are kind of going way over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to suggest that we weaken both hands a little bit, get it a little more towards, say, the right ear, and that'll really take some pressure uh, off of the club face. Uh, you do a good job 
in the swing with a lot of things. If we take it back here, and you'll see as the club goes in motion from face on, as I come down to impact, you're going to be able to see that at impact, you stay behind it well. You've got a little forward shaft lean. A lot of good stuff there through impact. But I think the club face is probably overriding some things in your swing. And you want to start with a grip when you have a bit of a club face issue. So I'm going to show you a little more of a, of a neutral grip. The second thing is I'm going to show you how to get the left shoulder a little bit more angled, kind of down with the left knee coming across. So I'm gonna get this left shoulder to kind of turn a little bit more down this way, the left knee to point a little bit more behind the ball. And I think that countered with the grip change will create an environment where uh, the club face won't override things so much at impact and you will hit it to the left less often. Here it comes. All right, Cameron, thanks so much for the swing. I know you're missing it left a little bit, right? And we're gonna to get to that grip, but I want you to pan out here, Justin, for a second. And usually when you see those really strong grips like that are over here, you'll see the driver kind of get, you know, a going a little bit forward this way, right? Because we're trying to fight off that club face. Strong grip, club face shot at the top. Hey, a lot of good things can happen from there. And I can see it in your swing. When you come down in the impact, boy, your head's behind it, the shaft's forward, all really good stuff, all right? Now, maybe we need to take a little pressure off the face. Get the club face a little bit more opened up so you don't fear that left shot as much. So let's get in here on this grip here, Justin. Take this left hand, make sure you're not too far over here, right? Where you get those three knuckles going, that motorcycle grip, right? You're really revving the engine. Make sure you're not over here, but bring it back just a little bit. Let's see two knuckles, okay? This right hand, you're a fair amount under here. Let's get that right hand a little bit more up on top as well, all right? So I like that grip, go ahead and pan out now. Now, that's gonna feel awful probably just gonna feel terrible because you're used to being over there but I would go there I'd make that change I would then get the hands to be a little bit more in line and if you just did those two things and went about it I like that I think it'll take some pressure off the club face now one thing in the swing as you turn try to get the left shoulder a little more down okay right hip going a little more up left shoulder going a little more down right not this way, but more that way. I would call that secondary to the grip change, to the hands more in line. I like those two things. Should help you not hit it to the left as much. All right, tough hole, 17th. Gotta hit a drive down the middle here. I am nice and loosened up since it's 180 degrees out here. Feeling good. Even par, two to play, toughest stretch on the web.com tour. Here it comes, neutral grip, hands in line. Uh-oh. Pulled it left. That's gonna be in the rough. We've got some work to do to make par here on 17. Let me show you this hole, and as we get through 17, we're going to get back to 18, one of my favorite holes here on the golf course. we got more to come here on the Stripe Show. Let's go. All right, beautiful hole, the 17th. I love that, and I made an all-world par. I'm still even one to play the difficult 18th here at Victoria National. Remember what I said earlier at the beginning of the show? The hardest finishing stretch on the web.com to the United Leasing Championship, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I told you we're going to bring it to its knees here. We're doing that. We're even par, one to play. This hole, a little into the wind. That bunker is about 270. Got to hit the fairway here again. I'm going to go with my three wood. I get the question a lot, difference between driver and three wood. Well, driver, of course, we teed up really high. We can get that ball position way up here off that left shoulder. Three wood, get it just inside that. All right, let's get it in here on that armpit like that. Hands, once again, pretty much in line. Of course, I'm not teeing it up as high either. From there, you know, it's really the same type of swing, right? I'm not gonna hit up on this one as much. This one's gonna come in, catch it maybe pretty level or slightly on the way down, but the setup, small adjustment, go about it the same way. This is such a beautiful hole here. It can be so intimidating. I've got my sight line. Make an aggressive swing. Pick sight lines. It helps narrow things down. It helps the brain focus. And then from there, make your aggressive swing to that. Don't make it too big. Don't get lost in all this, right? Get your sight line. 
For me, it's the center of that bunker. Go through your routine and then let it rip. And there it is. Hit a good shot there. Wind's got it a little bit, but it's going to be in play. It's going to set up a long second shot. We've got to make par here to finish this tough, difficult stretch here at Victoria National. It's been a fun show. Let's keep it going. All right, good drive here on the 18th. I've got 172 yards here to the flag stick. Seven iron, 175 for me. Pretty good wind though, right? Take a look at the wind, look at that. Pretty good wind. I'm definitely gonna take one more club, right? So I'm gonna go to my six iron. You get into these situations, a lot of wind. Always encourage my students, obviously take more club, right? You're in between, especially into the wind. Take that extra club, maybe two, right? Maybe go to two. I encourage you to learn to kind of hit through the green, right? I see so many coming up short way too often, especially into the wind. So I've got my six. I'm going to hit a little knockdown shot here. How am I going to do that? Well, first thing I'm going to do, I am going to take the end of it here. You don't have to grip down. I'm going to take the end of it. I think I'm going to need most all of this six. Play, play the ball back just a touch. I like to stand just a little bit more upright when I'm hitting a knockdown shot. And then from there, I'm going to really de-lock the face. Look at here. I'm going to really make sure I'm coming in this way. And then I'm going to cut it off here at my left shoulder. I like that little three-quarter finish. Everything kind of cuts off this way. Not coming in this way to the high finish. Six iron. Got enough club. Play it back slightly. A little bit taller. De-lock that face and cut it off. There it is. So I cut it off. Hit it solid, but I pulled it a little bit. I pulled it a little bit. I'm in that bunker. Got some work. I'm actually glad I'm in that bunker because you know why? I want to show you how to hit this shot. Let's go find it. All right, third shot here. I'm in the bunker. Got to get it up and down. This is pretty firm sand here, right? So you get into this firm sand. I got my 60. It's got less bounce. I'm going to kind of dig in, get in there, get that sternum again, left, weight left. And we got to really stay right there. We can't be moving side to side. Now, compact sand. I like early hinge, get that thing working up, right? Don't get this going too wide. Early hinge, and then really let the club hit down and then kind of cut it off, right? So hinge up and then down and cut it off, putting that butt of the club right there off that left hip. And that really, again, makes it very V shaped. And a little spin on it down the hill. All right, we've got about five feet to make par to finish this compact sand. I like this thing. Watch this again, because it can help you in the bunker. Let's go make a putt. All right, here we are. I've got about five feet to finish this off for par. 60 second swing fix. We got some time? All right, here we go. Putting, right? Four options on the grip. Look at this. Here is Reverse overlap, right? We talked about that one. I like that. That's how I putt. Or left hand low. Look at the left hand. It goes down under the right hand there. Builds up that lead wrist. See how that's flatter in the lead hand? Kind of helps stabilize the face. Another option, right? Look at here. The saw. Look my elbow kicks out. Kind of coming in like a saw. Really takes that right hand out. Doesn't let it go this way. And then, of course, the pencil. You see that as well. The pencil. Look at that. I got a pencil there. Come in like the grip just like that. Right? So you got some options there on the putting grips. Four different ones. Don't be afraid to try them. Right? What helps you square the face? I got to finish this off. Go in. We did it. We played 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, even par the toughest stretch on the web.com tour here at the beautiful Victoria National Golf Club, Evansville, Indiana. I hope you enjoyed the Stripe Show as much as we have had putting it together. This is a beautiful place, Victoria National. All kinds of good information coming your way. Next week, we'll be back home at the Jacksonville Golf and Country Club. Hope you enjoyed the Stripe Show. Remember, like it and share it. If you share it, I'll give you a mulligan. See you next week from Florida. Welcome to the uh, second annual Stripe Show 
Coach Am. I'm your uh, host, Travis Fulton, and uh, I've had a few people come up to me actually and ask me already what uh, what the Stripe Show is all about. And uh, that's actually that's my show that I started this year uh, with a group uh, from the 18 Birdies. 